Hi, welcome back. I'm gonna take you through a journey that we decided to take six months ago, utilizing the biofertilizer in maize production. We went through very many indices, the germination, plant health, plant vigor, pest and disease management, and above that all, we did yield and an animal feed for your animals. So come, let me take you through this entire whole process that we had to go through to prove that the home biogas biofertilizer is best for your maize crop. We identified a piece of land, 500 meters squared, and this land was divided into five plots that were to undergo different treatments. Each plot measured 19.6 meters by 5.1 meters. This treatment included plots that were under one, the common practice, there was no use of the biofertilizer. Number two, integration of both the biofertilizer and the common practice. The third plot, integration of both the biofertilizer and the common practice with inclusion of pre-treatment. Number four, use of biofertilizer exclusively. And number five, integration of both the biofertilizer and common practice with inclusion of pre-treatment and smaller spacing measurements. Two weeks to the planting date, plot three, four, and five were subjected to pre-treatment at a rate of two liters per square meter. During the planting day, plot one, two, three, and four, the holes were dug with a spacing of 20 centimeters from hole to hole and 60 centimeters from row to row. This gave a total of six rows with 40 holes per row. In total, we had 240 holes. Plot five, holes were dug with a spacing of five centimeters from hole to hole and 75 centimeters from row to row. This gave us a total of seven rows with 56 holes per row. In total, we had 392 holes. After digging the holes in plot one, DAP fertilizer was applied at a rate of 2.5 kilograms per 100 meters squared. Two seeds of maize were dropped in every hole. The holes were then covered with a light film of soil. Plot two and three, DAP fertilizer was applied at a rate of 2.5 kilograms per 100 meters squared. Six liters of diluted home biogas biofertilizer was applied to the holes and after the biofertilizer was absorbed into the soil, two seeds of maize were dropped in every hole. The holes were then covered with a light film of soil. Plot four. Six liters of diluted home biogas biofertilizer was applied to the holes and after the biofertilizer was absorbed into the soil, two seeds of maize were dropped in every hole. The holes were then covered with a light film of soil. Plot five. DAP fertilizer was applied at a rate of 6.5 kilograms per 100 meters squared. Six liters of diluted home biogas fertilizer was applied to the holes, and after the home biogas fertilizer was absorbed into the soil, one seed of maize was dropped in every hole. The holes were then covered with a light film of soil. Germination. Four weeks after planting, we assessed the germination percentage of each plot and realized that plot one had 92%, plot two had 94%, plot three had 100%, plot four had 94%, and plot five had 46%. Plot two and three had high germination rate than plot one and plot five. This shows the impact of biofertilizer in enhancing germination. Note, plot five had the lowest germination rate this indicates the negative impact of high use of chemical fertilizers. Top dressing. Six weeks after planting, plot two, three, four, and five underwent top dressing at a rate of three liters per hole every week. Plot one underwent top dressing with CAN twice in the entire cycle at a rate of 2.5 kilograms per 100 meters squared. Now I shall take you through the observations we were able to see through this experiment. We want to harvest the mature cob, but we're able to see how much yield we will get from this plot. 
So we're just from harvesting and we want to weigh how much each plot was able to give us. I have taken a sample of 24 cobs from each plot. We have randomly picked one of the best big cobs from each plot. Plot 1 has 6.5 kilograms. Plot 2 has 7.1 kilograms out of the 24 samples. Plot 3 had 8.7 kilograms out of the 24 samples. Plot 4 had 6.9 kilograms. And plot 5 had 6.9 kilograms out of the 24 samples. This was equivalent to 18% of the harvest in plot 1, 19.5% in plot 2, 24% in plot 3, 19% in both plot 4 and plot 5. In this experiment, the best plot was plot 3, followed by plot 2, then to plot 4, plot 1, and plot 5. This experiment proved that the combination of pre-treatment with the biofertilizer and exclusive use of biofertilizer for top dressing gives the highest production of maize. This is evident by one, the high level of chlorophyll, which is very important for the growth of maize. Number two, the thick stalks, which are attributed to the balanced uptake of nutrients from the soil. Number three, early flowering, which enhances the growth of cob early enough. Number four, high pest resistance. There was low incidences of worms, aphids, insects and diseases in plot three as compared to the rest of the plots. Number five, very low level of mortality rate, which was at 0.1% in plot three. Number six, the improvement of the soil structure as per the lab results is a proof that the soil had available nutrients throughout the season for the maize to uptake the nutrients. Moreover, after harvest, the soil was well loose as an indication that the soil did not compact, making it easy for the roots to penetrate down the soil. Based on our analysis today, we realized that our best plot gave us a 35% increase in yield from the common practice. What are you waiting for? Use the home biogas fertilizer for your maize production.